day three at the World Economic Forum annual meeting in Davos, Switzerland. And earlier, Alicia Sekam caught up with uh, Juliana Rotich, Executive Director at Ushahidi. Let's take a look. Social entrepreneurs have a very, very important role to play in fueling the resilient dynamism agenda, uh, particularly technology social entrepreneurs. That's the space that I come from. And we cannot talk about Africa's future, we cannot talk about any sort of dynamism without talking about entrepreneurship and technology in Africa. Um, one of the key roles that these uh, uh, entrepreneurs can play is to create solutions where a lot of problems exist and to provide efficiencies where there are a lot of inefficiencies. In fact that's exactly where Ushahidi was born so take us through the startup of your business because uh, it was born out of the frustrations of what was not working in the world so take us through that. So we started Ushahidi in 2008 and it was in response to the um, state of the elections in Kenya at the time. It was a contentious election and sadly it resulted in the death of more than 1,200 people. Um, the problem there was the flow of information where we were, not be, we were not able to get signal as to what was going on where. So we created crowdsourcing technology, made it open source, opened it up to the rest of the world, and since then it's been used for crisis mapping, election mapping, even corruption mapping. And not only in Kenya itself, you've taken it abroad to verifying election results over in Brazil. 2013 sees you uh, bring it back home to Kenya with the elections coming up. Uh, what's your view on how that process is set to take place because already creating quite a stir back in Kenya. So um, the Ushahidi team, um, we take seriously what is going on in Kenya because that is our home, number one. Uh, number two, um, to give credit where credit is due, this is the first time that technology is going to play a big role in the elections. For the first time, Kenyans are able to check via mobile phone whether they're registered or not. That is actually something that was put together by the government and um, I think it's good to give them credit for that. Mm -hmm. Now. Uh, systems like Ushahidi are able to put the citizen at the center of the election process where citizens can indicate what is going on at the polling station where they can say the polling station opened up one time or if there's violence and their threats and the key idea here is to find the signal of critical information that can be passed on to law enforcement agencies who can act to prevent violence and to prevent the loss of life. Of course, uh, you've made significant stride at, uh, as Ushahidi. How do you rate the progress Africa is making in this regard when it comes to increasing transparency and lowering the barriers for individuals to share their ideas? There's a lot more work to do. Um, I think this is the time that African countries, African entrepreneurs need to really look at adopting free and open source technologies, localizing them, helping them to look around, look at the problems that exist, and figure out how to plug in these solutions. There's so much to be done. Um, we're seeing some strides with uh, I Paid a Bribe Zimbabwe. There's a gentleman there who's using the platform to crowdsource information about uh, bribery. If this information could be used to actually act upon these cases and reduce cases of corruption, it can take us in limitless ways. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the current, the current performance, I would say, is very nascent. We're just not there yet. There is so much more to do in uh, using technology uh, in Africa. Those targets get incredibly hard to hit uh, when you look at funding, and if funding and access to it becomes a challenge. I mean, uh, just how challenging and how tricky is it uh, to get funding as a social entrepreneur right now to pursue what is a noble endeavor? Um, it's definitely a challenge, but one of the things that uh, Africans need to, African entrepreneurs need to realize is that the field of uh, financing, not only for social entrepreneurs, but also for startups, is global. There are interested, uh, there are interested uh, investors, angel investors, foundations, and different organizations who are willing to fund good ideas, but not just good ideas that apply locally in Africa local ideas that can scale. So 
there are challenges but there are opportunities matching them up seems to be quite a challenge but I truly believe if you have a good idea it's possible to to get to the next level when it comes to uh, business models uh, it's it's a good time to start thinking about what are the appropriate business models that can be um, fostered in Africa because we've got unique problems as you well know but we've got fantastic potential in the young people who are creating solutions.